Okay, this video is for Pierre Auguste Renoir's tulips for third through fifth. Now my, my piece of paper here is smaller than what you're gonna have, so it'll be a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit more cramped, but your, your piece of paper will be bigger. And you have a little bit more room to spread out. Okay, so I am going to start with the vase because that's the part that I tend to forget. So I'm gonna grab these two blues, kind of a lighter and a darker. And I'm going to start with my darker. And I'm not going to have a crazy big base, just kind of something down here. Just so make basically parentheses. And I'm going to close it up. I have a circle lip at the top. I'm going to add some color. How much or how little color I add is you know, totally up to you. And I'm going to take the lighter and I'm going to add a little bit of details, just add a little bit more in a couple of areas. It really wouldn't be on that side, but oh well. And now what I'm going to do is kind of drag my finger over a little bit to blend the chalk together and kind of give myself a little bit more color around it and make the chalk slightly less messy because I love chalk but that stuff gets everywhere. Alright, so that's my vase for right now and then the cool thing is I can always go back and add more lines to it if I want to. All right, so now let's get to adding some flowers. I'm gonna start with my purple, and I've got three similar colors. I've got a dark, a medium, and a light. I'm gonna start with the dark and draw the outline of my flower. The type of flower you draw is completely up to you. And then I am going to start filling in with the dark. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but hopefully just enough to give you an idea. And then I'm going to take my medium and I'm going to start adding that. I don't want to cover up all the dark that I just did, but a little bit. Now I'm going to take my light and put that in there where I want that to go and then I am going to lightly rub and blend the two together or three together sorry and gotta have something to wipe your hands on all right and so that's where we are so far and you could do this with a lot more um, for third through fifth you could actually do like three to four flowers if you wanted to I'll do I'll do one more I've got my three yellows my dark my medium and my light so I'm gonna start with my darker here and here I'll even do like a different style a flower you just do something different I think I've done that same tulip in all the videos so far But same basic concept, you're going to do your outline and your, kind of your base fill in with your darker. You're going to come in with your lighter and add some more to it, kind of blend together. And you're going to come in with your light and kind of wherever you think that lighter bit of the flower should go. And of course, do a little blending. And for this one, I would actually just take some brown and do some bits in the center and you know, whatever else I wanted to do to make my, my picture complete. 
Now, stems and leaves. I'm going to go with two greens, a regular green and a lighter green. I'm going to start with my regular green and I'm going to draw my stem. And go ahead and fill in your stem all the way with your regular green. And you can do some leaves and go ahead and fill those in all the way. All right. And then take your, your lighter green and then just you're adding a little bit of interest to it. You know, more of your details here. And then of course we will kind of blend them together. And the good thing is if you decide, you know, I, I want a little bit more contrast like on that leaf. You can just take your chalk and go right over the top and add whatever you want to to it. Same thing with all the rest of it. That's up to you. All right. I hope that was what you guys needed. And this is for tulips through for third grade through fifth grade. Thanks.